Hey everyone, we're here with Mr. Robert Creighton. Robert, how are you? I'm fantastic this morning. Uh, I've, I've, you know, I'm really curious. What's it like to tap dance on like ice? <laughs> on ice? Why do you ask? Do you think this Frozen. Oh yes, good one. I get what you're saying there. <laughs> Um, it's good. Actually, I don't have to tap dance in that one, believe it or not. I just spent a year and a half tap dancing in Cagney, and Frozen's going to be a bit of a, a break from the tap dancing for me, but I have a, the Duke of Westland is such a fun part. I'm, I'm excited about it. How often do people call him Weaselton? <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Always. I come out of the stage door in, in Denver where we did our out-of-town thing, and, and all the little kids love saying Weaselton, and I tell them, Weaselton. It's, it's very fun. Uh, so you kind of like playing, you know, villains, because Cagney was known for playing gangsters and villains. So do villains have more fun? You know what? I think they do. I, I think they do. I'm having, I had such fun. I'm really looking forward to doing Wesselton for an extended period of time because he gets to be uh, a funny bad guy, but he's, he's definitely the bad guy as the, as the show goes along. And uh, that is enjoyable. Yeah. I like it when the, uh, you can make the audience kind of not like you for a minute. It's fun. <laughs> this time of year can turn you upside down. Make normal people crazy. Make smilers start to frown. The hustle and the bustle. The rush to get things done. Can spoil a special season. Can suck out all the fun. This time of year can make you lose your mind. Your debt begins to grow. And so does your behind. Suddenly, have you become like your kids, like big hero for being a Disney character? Yes, you nailed it. My kids are six and four, so they are absolutely in the pocket for Frozen. And they saw it twice in Denver. They wanted to come every single night. Uh, but I said, it's either you eat and have a place to live, or you can come to the show every night. So, um, so they've seen it twice. They'll see it again in New York, obviously. But uh, yeah, they love it. And they tell their friends, Daddy's in Frozen and stuff. It's very fun. Yeah. So for you, when you were growing up, besides being Cagney, did you ever want to be a Disney character, a Disney prince at any point? Yeah, no, I wasn't. I mean, I loved Disney movies, and certainly we grew up on Disney movies. But for me, I always, originally, I just wanted to be Fred Astaire. That was my big dream, Fred Astaire. Uh, and then and Gene Kelly. Those are my two big guys and old movies. And then when I got to New York and went to acting school here, I got introduced to James Cagney, and that was it. I felt this connection to him, and that sort of, he became one of my sort of heroes, really. Not only because of the way he was in movies, but also the way he lived his life, so. Right. Yeah. So, no tap dancing in Frozen, but will there be tap dancing at Fine Science 54 Below on your show? As a matter of fact, there will be. There is going to be a little tap dancing. I, I love it here. It's so um, intimate and such an old school, classic, classy, old school place. Um, it's fun to tap dance on this stage. I've done it a couple times before because people are right there, you're at eye level. They're looking right at your feet. So it's, uh, there's no hiding and it's actually a lot of fun, so. What's the most exciting part about putting together your own set list and getting to sing whatever you want? It's challenging, especially for a holiday show. And I, I love Christmas music. Christmas jazz is probably my favorite type of music. If I had to pick one genre, I, I could listen to it any time of the year, actually. I love it, like Harry Connick stuff or Michael Buble and Mel Torme and, and you know all those old great Irving Berlin songs. and. Um, I, uh, so narrowing it down was really the tough part. I wrote a couple original songs for this show, and I have a couple of original tunes from friends of mine who are composers. Um, but most of it is these Christmas classics and just songs, mostly I've never performed in a concert setting before. I've just sung around the house, you know? <laughs> so it was really, um, the challenge was refining it uh, to a reasonable number of songs and tell the story I want to tell on that evening, which is about celebrating the the themes of the holidays when it's at its best, and that's what my show is going to be about. It's called Holiday Happy. Jingle bells, jingle bells, come on and jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, come on and jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Now the ground is white, go it while you're young, take the girls tonight and sing this lame song. Right. Is there one Christmas song that you think is vastly underrated that you wish more people loved? Wow, that's a great question. Um, 
That's a great question. I mean, there are the classics like White Christmas and, and you know, Chestnut, the Christmas song, Chestnut. Um, I like I'll Be Home for Christmas. That's one of my favorites, and I think it's just such a beautiful melody. It's, it's very moving. And, um, you know, I like the story of the drummer boy. And I'm actually going to sing a version of that in my show because if you take it at one, one sense, it's about, about a guy finding a gift that he feels is worthy for, you know, this king that's being born that he goes to see. But uh, there's a whole other level to that song about using your gifts in the world and w feeling like, what do I have to offer? And I think that's really what that song is about. So the message of that song for me is kind of universal because I feel like, I feel like for me, the greatest tragedy in the world is when I see people who have potential but don't use it. And for me, I often think about what else can I do to use what gifts I've been given, you know? And that's what that song's about. And I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to singing that one. Right, so what's on your, on your letter to Santa for this year? Haha, <laughs> my letter to Santa, you know, these days, there aren't actual, like I don't, I'm so grateful for the job that I have upcoming as an actor, you know, it ebbs and flows. And to have the, after this concert I have, Uh, and Monday night I'm singing Man La Mancha concert, which will be very exciting up at Lincoln Center. But um, after that, I get to chill out for three weeks till I start Frozen. So I'm grateful for that, and I have so much to be grateful for. The, the only thing on my Santa list is, uh, it's kind of boring, but, well, maybe not, experiential things for my family, for my kids. That's what, uh, for stuff to do with my kids, like going to see shows with my kids, to exposing them to things and da da da. So the, the in-laws and everybody all knows that we don't need stuff. We just want to, if you want to do something, um, it's experiential things or like skating lessons for the kids. Things for my kids now. That's really what I mostly think about. Right. Do they have a favorite place in New York City that they like going to? Uh-huh. We, uh, we have a couple. Um, they, you know what's fun at this age? They, just as much as going to the place, the result, where you are, they love getting on the big bus to go in or getting on the ferry to come in because we live in New Jersey. And um, they love getting on the subway, which they've done, you know, not very often. So it's very, those things are very exciting. Like the, the getting there is just as fun as the places we get to go. We're members at a couple museums, which they know very well now. Museum of Natural History and other things, Children's Museum. And uh, so the, it's, it's not a tough sell getting them to come into the city. Right. And what James Cagney movie are you looking forward to showing them when they're of age? Well, there's a few. We'll start with Yankee Doodle Dandy. Uh, he, they've already seen many clips of Cagney. They know Cagney. They can spell Cagney. Um, they know Daddy is, you know, plays Cagney. The, the Cagney's been a big part of our life for the last couple of years, and they're only four and six, so for a big chunk of their years. So, um, yeah, they'll get, the full, they'll get the full filmography once we get going, for sure. That's awesome. Uh, Robert, thank you. It's always a pleasure talking to you and happy holidays. Thanks. Same to you.